on everyone it is ir here from boulder road io where we design products in 10 days or less so this tutorial is going to be talking about how you can create a pop-up that is draggable and will navigate and automatically go back to its original state so it auto always will pop up in the same spot so i'm going to go ahead and i've copied this right here so I can see what's going on. All right, so this is the pop-up state. There's a bunch of other elements here because this is part of our unsolicited advice videos. You'll see here that we do the typical clip layer uh, with the container. So you can see that here. Um, and this is the pop-up that we're gonna be working with. So let's go ahead and actually increase the size of this so that we can get the full shadow. And then we'll reduce the height. Nope, that's the width. All right, so 460, um, 464, there we go. The height, let's check, maybe 250. Yeah, looks like 250. All right, so we're gonna set the height to 250. So now the trigger for this is actually gonna be clicking the uh, edit speakers button right here. So on tap for edit speakers, we're going to scale this container, which was edit speakers pop up to 250. Now, <clears throat> what we want to have and be able to do is drag that container. So we're gonna go ahead and use the drag, where are you? The drag trigger, and that's going to move. And we're gonna do one, yeah, so it's one for one. So now what that should do is allow us to move. Great, so that's, working and the last part of this is tapping done to close and then you will have effectively created a pop-up so we're going to go to scale zero edit speakers pop-up and we want to click the button done all right so now let's see what we have Let's first set the initial state of this container to zero and preview. All right, so upon clicking this, you'll have a pop-up that shows up. You can drag it anywhere on the screen and then you click done. And there's one thing that's missing though. When we click done, it doesn't actually move back. So we need to do the secondary part of tapping done this is tap done to close and this is tap icon to open the move function we have to bring this back to the coordinates that it was originally at so in each one of the elements in protopi you'll get the position here and that's based on this arrow here so you'll notice origin i could switch the origin to center top, uh, etc., and that will change the coordinates. Right now, it's set to the top left, so we'll keep it there. Essentially, what we need to do is move this pop-up back to 618, and what was the Y? 77. And we'll make this instant, just because I don't like seeing that lag. Now, let's see. That looks a little bit weird. All right, so let's not make it um, ease out. Okay, fine, we'll keep this at point two. That's fine. So now you have the pop-up, it migrates back. I'll probably change that to point one and then you're good. So that's how you create a pop-up that um, goes back to the original state and it 
you can move this around and within that pop-up container you can put several elements and you could probably do a background blur as well by putting a whole layer underneath the container that turns to opacity 100 just to show you what that would look like because that sounds like a cool idea we'll go ahead and create this rectangle here put that behind the edit speakers and we'll set the opacity to 30. So this is if you wanted some sort of background blur like that. So what's gonna happen on open is that you're gonna set the opacity of the background blur to, we have it set to 30. So you're gonna set that to 30. Great, and then when you tap to close, you're gonna set the opacity of that layer to zero. And we're gonna want the initial state at zero. So now let's look at what that looks like. You have this here, what's going on? Tap to open, ah, okay, wow, epic fail. We didn't even select the background. Now it's gonna work. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna click this. Oh, wow, the background has blurred. And now it goes and disappears, the original state. So that looks like more of a traditional pop-up, gets the user's attention centered on the actual pop-up and any actions you need to take. So that was a quick tutorial on how to create a pop-up with an additional background blur. Um, if you have any questions, please leave uh, that in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer them. And that was it for today. So thank you guys and gals again. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll be signing off now. Cheers.